Good morning. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, this morning I went to Max Steele for every group got you a paper to be present in the meeting. Do you got a paper? No? So do you have a syllable? Do you have a syllable? So there are five, four. Four article, right? Four? Oh, four article, yeah. There are four article will be uh, presented by you, right? Uh, all these up, uh, article come from the Harvard Business Review, okay? And uh, so you, so you didn't know this? No. No? So, no, okay. No, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so next week uh, all this uh, paper will be uh, hand out to you, okay? And uh, how many group now? Seven. Seven? Seven group. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. They are, right. So, uh, please, uh, uh, see the syllable, okay, which I uh, hand out to you uh, in the beginning of the class and pre-check. Uh, there are four papers here, this here, right? Uh, the paradox of uh, Samsung Rice. All these papers are very practical, very practical uh, uh, paper, okay? And the second is uh, create, creating uh, the global talent and the third paper winning the race for global talent managing yourself making it overseas so all these uh, paper are talking about the some international human resource practices of uh, MACS yeah and most of them uh, are Asia's company like uh, Samsung right uh, like I, I mean that all the modern company, uh, many modern company, uh, they uh, do business in Asia, right? So all these uh, paper talk about how they uh, conduct international business in Asia and how they manage the, uh, their human resource in Asia, okay? So I want you to read all this paper and got the content and got the point and present in uh, the class and let everybody can have some discuss. Okay? It's okay? Play it? No. So it means uh, we have to choose only one uh, for this topic and make the presentation. Yeah. So a, every paper should be presented by two groups. The first group will present the content of this uh, paper, introduce the, the content to all the student and then the second group will come up to uh, uh, present your idea uh, some critical idea and have some uh, comment right and other, any other idea right you think can complement to this paper okay so uh, every paper should be presented by two groups okay what well, uh, first group introduced the content of this paper Okay, like it? Like it? So, uh, you, you can download, uh, because I, if you check, I had uh, this, the, all this, the publication of this paper, uh, Fortunate Review, and, uh, yeah, this, uh, Harvard, all come from the Harvard Business Review, and I, I had uh, shown all the publication day, okay? So actually, you can uh, go to the web to get the paper, okay? And uh, hand up this uh, sign, okay? Uh, each group, uh, uh, what, what, what task they want to do, okay? Yeah. No, so... When? Sorry? But the dates don't fit anymore. They don't fit the dates don't fit anymore because otherwise we wouldn't have a final presentation. Uh, so you mean that not in the... the 
the schedule, right? Okay. Now, no problem. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I um, arranged. Okay, I will arrange it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Before. Yeah. I think the. Uh, the. Let me. Uh, I will arrange it. Okay. And announce to you uh, next next week. Okay. So Hannah, please assign. Uh, guys, it's good to be a professional page group. Please come here and check your presentation. We have one A, one B, two A, two B, three A, three B, and four. So A would be introduction, and B would be uh, comment. Comment of the people. Please introduction. Um, and. Every week should be uh, there should be two paper pre to be presented every week, right? So I think uh, in the December, uh, the first week uh, from the first week in December, right? Okay. So if uh, your group want to uh, leave earlier, okay, please uh, take the earlier. Okay, they can have the earlier presentation of the paper. Uh, every group have a, a set from the 30 minutes to 40 minutes, okay? Okay. It's okay? Enough? Okay. The, yeah, now today let's come to uh, this uh, chapter. Uh, entitled the global uh, talent management and uh, staffing. Okay, uh, in this chapter, uh, I will talk about the global work uh, for the planning and forecasting. Right, and for every money company, uh, when they want to uh, expand uh, their uh, global market, yeah, they need to have this uh, global force planning. Okay. They need to decide uh, how many workforces th uh, they will need in every country, in every uh, country market. Okay, and uh, they should decide uh, uh, how many manager, international manager they will need to manage all uh, this uh, international business in every country. Okay, and this, then we talk about the staff in the ME. Okay, we were. Uh, Introduce uh, how MME uh, uh, select and they recruit and select uh, their international manager. Uh, whether they come from the home country or uh, 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 in uh, the host country, okay. And so after this, uh, then we will talk about the staffing with the international dining. Uh, if uh, this uh, international manager uh, come from Home country or uh, other country, yeah, they should step in with this uh, international line. Okay, so this international experiment is very important, right? Today, uh, many international come here, right? Uh, you get the uh, international experience, and then you will be uh, considered to be the uh, their potential uh, international manager uh, when you are hired. Uh, by Mojang company, yeah, maybe they will assign you to work uh, in other country. Okay. Now my my first son working uh, uh, is working in Dubai. Right. It's all oh, Dubai is very hot because uh, he's a Canadian, and you know, <laughs> in Vancouver it's uh, the weather is very good. But uh, when he work in Dubai, it's oh, so hot. Yeah. For international manager, yeah, you need to uh, uh, adapt it to uh, any uh, working environment, okay, in the global uh, market. And then, how to uh, select the host country nation, okay? So, sorry, what the? Hmm. Yeah, so this chapter will begin with the discussion of the process of planning and overall for it. 
and describe the great diversity of the staff of, uh, to, of staff in the typical uh, ME uh, employees and then explain the process of recruiting, selecting, hiding, onboarding and managing the staff. Okay? So uh, we should know that enterprise that develop uh, this international operation must find staff in whatever location they operate uh, or relocate the staff they need is available uh, is unavailable uh, locally to those locations learn to recruit and hire in multiple locations and the uh, culture and deploy staff uh, it makes most uh, sense for the enterprise if I remember uh, in the first class, I give you this question, right, to discuss uh, yeah, uh, for some uh, uh, five-star hotel, luxury level hotel, yeah, if they want to expand market in China, okay, for example, the Haya, right, the Haya hotel, okay, um, first they should, should choose, should, should choose to set up their uh, hotel, okay. All these uh, hotel, Haya, Rich Carton, okay. This uh, luxury, uh, five star, uh, global brand hotel, right? So where should they stop their hotel in China? Huh? Well, how do do you know? First. Do you know? For all these uh, luxury uh, hotel, right? Global brand hotel. They want to do business in Asia, in China. Uh, how do you think? Maybe they should start from Shanghai. Yeah, why? Because Shanghai is a modern city which uh, accumulate a lot of businesses, foreign businesses, and there are a lot of money in Shanghai. So people can afford themselves to stay one or two nights in a luxury hotel because they went to Shanghai for business trips and the company cover their expenses so they don't pay for it yeah. very yeah. often very good energy yeah so because Shanghai is the city right with the many international travel right travel uh, food to business there right and we visit uh, their customer there so yeah so okay so after you choose Shanghai at your uh, uh, first site Right to set up your uh, hotel, then <laughs> then come up another question. Right, how can you recruit the enough right, manager work for you, or you know the serving the the, the, the this uh, serving uh, attendant right to work for you? Okay, yeah. For this uh, luxury level hotel, okay? Yeah. From where should you recruit the, the manager? From local? From, from Asia, right? From Asia region, country, or where? Right? You cannot set up a, a, a factory or set up a, you know, a hotel and cannot find engineer, right? Find the manager work for you there, right? Right? So, how do you think? The idea come from you? How do you think? Now, when uh, Grand Hyatt, okay? Set up the hotel in Shanghai. Can they find uh, enough international manager work for him in sh in Dhaka, in Shanghai? Recruit all the manager yeah, from China. Is it uh, available? Hmm? Surely not, right? Because the uh, economy developing, developing uh, stage, right? China, you cannot find enough uh, this uh, the high class uh, 
serving manager in China. Really, right? So, yeah. Now come up this question. Okay. So basically, <laughs> gather this uh, middle label and uh, a higher uh, rank uh, ejected worker name. Right? For fat considering uh, factor. How do you think? Language, right? How do you think? Language? Language. Cultural background. Mm -hmm. If you want, you are hired to serve, right, in China. What do you need? <laughs> what kind of recompense do you need? Language. Sure, for language, right? Language? Yeah? You should know some Chinese, right? Some Chinese. Some Chinese. Okay. Because in China, you all need to communicate with the government, right? Even the, the, the city government. Okay. Language, cultural background, and the professional expertise, right? Okay, you should have uh, enough uh, working experience in this uh, luxury level hotel, right? Yes? So, so they should, they should assign the executive team from their headquarters, right? From headquarters. Or I transfer some executive member from other hotel, right? From from no, so from other country, right? In their hotel group. The first, right? The first. And then concerning the second level the middle level, maybe they, they are not enough uh, manager can be transferred from their one group. So they should consider to transfer, uh, no, to uh, acquire some middle level manager, right? From where? From the regional country, right? From Korea, from Hong Kong, from Japan, from Taiwan, right? From Singapore, okay? Because some of them had the same culture background, even the language, right? They are similar, okay? Uh, yeah. So Singaporeans, all this kind of uh, uh, assignment or all these kind of uh, recruitment, yeah, is the international staffing issue. Okay. So, HR professional will be asked to provide information about the uh, adequacy of the local labor market prior to the phone's decision about fail to locate their global operation, right? And or whether to participate in any cross-border acquisition, joint venture or alliance. Yeah. Because of the shortage of skilled worker and the acquisition and deployment of talent are key global HR imperative. Right? Yeah. So ideally the data about such level of force characteristic as participation rate, level and quality of education and literacy availability of skill training and language skill and employment rate by country and uh, metropolitan area within country will be available to help IHR uh, plan for the firm's local workforce. Right? Uh, so, in this situation, in the case of the uh, Grand Haya, yeah, the middle level, the manager should be uh, recruited from the regional country, right? 
However, how about the, this uh, low rank of manager, right? It can be acquired from the local, right? From local, yeah. And acquired from some, uh, some uh, international hotel, right? In uh, China, right? Or even near Shanghai, okay? Yeah. So this adequate should be one component of rejective de decision making process for fair and with firm to do business. In any case, it's IHR that is expected to provide such information. So IHR people is very important in Mongolian company. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ten years ago, when uh, many high tech manufacturing company. Uh, set up their factory in China from Taiwan 10 years ago, many high tech and the most important thing for them is to choose choose the site right, fail so they locate this uh, factory they need to consider fail there is enough engineer can be higher right in the locale right, in the city or around the metropolitan area, okay? So, you know, many high-tech, high-tech company uh, set up their factory in China, in only some city, right? Shenzhen, Shanghai, Beijing, and Suzhou, right? Suzhou, Suzhou, and Wuhan. And then Chengdu, Chongqing. Know why? Because in all this uh, area, there are some famous university, right? Which can provide the enough uh, engineer background, <laughs> right? Engineer background uh, employee to work for them. And also, they need to consider fair all the city uh, can accommodate their international manager or their home country's uh, professional engineer can work there. Right? They need to consider the convenience, right? The convenience of the uh, this living convenience, convenience. Okay. So, probably the most important level uh, force issue for developed country is uh, economy is their aging population. Aging population. Japan, USA, Europe, right? And the resulting level shortage. With more people retiring than entering the level force to be president. Okay? Now, this, all this, uh, the, in, the, the employment issue uh, come from the developed country. Okay, however, uh, the level of uh, force issue of concern in most developing and emerging economy is their large young labor workers who often lack the skill, their skill. Okay, set that job in every year required. Yeah. That's uh, the case of Grand uh, Hyatt, right? Yeah, when you want to set up this uh, uh, hotel, luxury level hotel in China, okay, they cannot find uh, the enough skilled worker, right? Enough skilled manager to work for them. In some way, uh, this opposing profile provides balance in the global workforce, right? Uh, with the surplus of young workers in, the, in China, in India, right? Uh, providing level for aging and shrinking the work, uh, labor force in a developed country. So in USA, like many hotel will <laughs> acquire the the nurse, the nurses, mm -hmm. right, the nurses from many Asia country, right, from Philippines, right, from Taiwan, right, yeah, from Korea, okay. 
prefer that want to conduct business in emerging market, as I know in ensuring the a good local workforce it can be critical. Not enough. Right? Now many manufacturing company uh, will be transferred from China to Vietnam, right? To Indonesia. Why? <laughs> Why? Because previously many worker many worker can work for this uh, multinational manufacturing company. But now they will go back to their hometown. They don't want to stay in the coastline provinces uh, anymore. They don't want to stay because the living expense become higher. Higher. Okay, after 20 years the economy development. All these uh, coastline province uh, they <laughs> become more expensive right, in their living condition. Okay? So now many workforces previously they work in the coastline of province and now they went back to their hometown. Right, so many more national manufacturing company cannot find enough uh, workforces. Do you, do you know what's their turnover rate or employment? Turnover rate. Every month, 20%. Every month, 20%. You know, Asus, Asus had a 500 mean, uh, sorry, 500,000 factory located in Suzhou, you know, 10 years, uh, 12 years ago. They set up this uh, factory there and hire 500,000, uh, sorry, uh, uh, 50, sorry, 50,000, uh, 50,000 workers in one factory. Now, think about it. Every month, 10,000 workers will uh, leave this uh, factory. Right? And the HR people need to recruit and hire another 10,000 workers. Tough, right? Very tough job for HR people. Okay? Fine farm, what's that? When company want a foothold in a developing country, they need to research labor cost, cultural difference, benefit, legal jurisdiction, and how to hire people locally, as well as the uh, role that government play in contract and enforcement. Okay, 10 years ago, but if you want to set up a factory in any city in China, the local government will help you. They will find enough worker work for you. But now, no, no way, you cannot do this again. Okay, because people they don't want to stay right in the city. They want to go back to their hometown. Okay. And also you know, now China government they promote they promote the raise the salary. There's a salary. And ask Monia company to raise their salary for the worker. Okay? Within in uh, this three year, the wage increased double. Three year, increased double. Three year in the coastline province. Coastline. Okay. So, why employment location is important? Yeah. So if you know the situation, you, you should, can explain why many Southeast Asia country is rising up, uh, rising up, uh, rising up, because they can provide the cheaper workforce. Okay, and the government provide the incentive to attract more company to set up the 
the manufacturing factory there. Then let, let's uh, talk about another issue. Increasing diversity. Increasing diversity of labor uh, forces and workforce. Labor markets are increasingly global and diverse. Diverse. Okay? Yeah. So you should increase your international competence, right? Because now the employment, the labor market become diverse and global. Okay, and the people with the education skill needed in today's global economy are increasingly available and everywhere, making potential employees available from all races and ethnic origin and nationality. Right? There are many Indian uh, PhD students in our campus. Do you know? Indian. And you can find many Indian engineers work in Taiwan. Many. Right? Because they are uh, three high tech high tech campus. High tech campus. No? High tech high tech and science campus in Taiwan. Tainan, Taichung and Xinzhu. Right? And some um, very uh, famous uh, high-tech company like uh, uh, TSNC, right? Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, uh, ASEN. All these the top one, top one company, right? In their specific uh, business, okay. So there are many uh, Indian engineer. Was higher, was higher. Okay. Mini okay. Then I'll talk about this. Uh, so, emigration and immigration. So millions of, pe of people work outside their home country, either as traditional uh, expatriate or hire to uh, emigrate to uh, fill vacant job in our country. You know how many Taiwanese. Working in China, do you know how many? Don't know. As my uh, very conservative, uh, conservative uh, estimate, of one million, one million Taiwanese working in China now. One million. Okay. Yeah. One million. You know, only Shanghai, only Shanghai, they are more than, uh, only the Shanghai city, uh, Shanghai city, not including the, not including the suburban area. Only Shanghai city, they are, 300,000, 300,000 Taiwanese live there. Set up company, I will set up coming there. Not including their family. Not including their family. So if you want to include their family, almost 2 million. By 2 million. So you mean that two million, at least two million Taiwanese now work, working and living in, or living in, in China. Do you know that? You don't know. <laughs> so every time when we had a, a presidential, presidential election, wow, many airplanes need, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, for flight, uh, very uh, frequently, and a double flight, a double flight. Okay. Some country like the Philippines purposely mention a percentage level force to work in other country every year. Do you know how many uh, this uh, 
immigrated the worker working in Ch in Taiwan now. Worker. Three hundred thousand in Taiwan. Three hundred thousand in Taiwan. Right. Come most of them come from Indonesia, Thailand and Philippines. Okay. So all these uh, uh, immigrated workers, uh, they now work in Kaohsiung, you know, Kaohsiung, Tainan, Taichung, okay, Xinzhu. Right. They, uh, some of them are work as a worker and some of them are work as a housekeeper. Housekeeper. Yeah. In addition, Minions are forced uh, from their home because of a civil unrest and natural disaster, okay, and become permanent uh, uh, refugees. Yeah, so many of them come from the Middle East, right? Middle East or African, African country. Uh, I have been, I have been a. <laughs> The immigrant student in in Canada, I attend the immigration school six months. Most of my classmates, you no, know, Arabian, Arabian, African, right, and yeah, South, you no, know, and the, the Southeast, uh, Southeast uh, people. Uh, no, South American, South American, uh, middle, middle and South American. Okay, so the, especially most of them come from the Middle East and Africa, and some from Russia. The Russia. Most of them uh, come as the permanent refugee. No. Okay, and in Europe. You can find that uh, some trade treat, uh, treaties, as the one that uh, create the foundation for the EU, right? Include a provision to facilitate the movement of workers between countries. This allow people to seek the best possible work opportunity for facilitate EU firm in creating the high quality workforce by drawing on a talent from throughout the Europe member states. Yeah. I remember uh, ten years ago, uh, no, fifty years ago, uh, fifteen years ago, when I vi visited uh, uh, East German, East German. Wow! Well, at that time, most of the East Germany cannot find a good job. They cannot find a good job, and they were uh, transferred to to the the West German, right, to find the, the cheaper, the cheaper job. 50, 50, uh, 15 years ago, when I visited them. But now, many, uh, right, East Germans, oh, yeah, the, the, now the German, the German, uh, the German pr prime, prime Minister come from East German, right? Do you know? Do you know that? Not the, the primary minister, right? She the she yeah uh, she uh, grow up she grow grow up uh, in East German. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now uh, some of you know all this uh, staffing option, right? External century. What do you mean? External centric. Uh, this uh, modern company who hire their inter manager from the home country. No? External centric. And the polycentric. This the modern company, they hire local talent, work in every foreign subsidiary. Okay? And the regional centric. You mean that modern company 
higher their talent from the the same regional the same regional area country and transfer them within this uh, okay within this uh, region and then geocentric geocentric is the uh, <laughs> staffing staffing manager across border no matter uh, where he come from okay and he can be assigned to work in every country any country okay even even this uh, major maybe may come from the developing country and work as the CEO as the CEO in the uh, in the, the, the headquarters no this is a geocentric the Dupont the Dupont Dupont CEO right come from East, East Europe country